It is time to leave Cagayan de Oro, CDO, and our stay at the Fenrose Hotel. Time to do a little review of this place. We're paying about 44 Canadian dollars a night to stay here, which puts it totally in the realm of cheap hotel. For your $44 a night, you get the biggest flat screen TV I think we've had. There it is right up there and you get a modern aircon system right over there which means really nicely regulated temperature on that big screen TV you get Netflix YouTube yes. and really good <laughs> a really good TV nice little table here to work on a couple of plugs over here in the corner plug in computer and the like. Was that it for the plugins? I yeah. think so, just two. So you just yeah. got the two plugins, but totally worked for us. In the washroom, you have a nice big sink area right in here. And most importantly, a shower that gives perfect hot water every time. Coming out of that, in, in, that, little, in that little system there. So everything we would want. The room is not small, but it does feel somewhat tight, right? Feels a little small. Small affects us when we go to spread our bags out on the on the floor. So it was a little bit tight for that. But of course we've slept in a lot smaller. Nice big bed. Nice comfy pillows. Plenty of pillows. And you can also get a free breakfast here. So you can go down and get your fresh breakfast. So much. Now we've been a, we've been on the road for a month. So what that means is if you go up on a Sunday for a breakfast, right? Let's say a bacon and egg breakfast. Oh, it's kind of different. It's great. After a month, it's not great. <laughs> and, the, and the breakfast here is very big. So we had to, <laughs> we had to try to deal with that. And by the second day, we were asking like for half breakfast yes, and no rice and, and really less rice. So that's just because we've been on the road for a month. We're halfway through our two month trip here at the Ben Rose Hotel. We're on our way over to Camigan Island. More on that in a bit. But we want to hear from Christina. Christina, how was your stay here in CDO and the Ben Rose Hotel? Nice people. Big breakfast. <laughs> and they upgrade us to this room. I don't know how little the other room is, but they upgraded this. And I'm only giving this place a 1.5. It's a bit small. A bit small for Christina. Now CDO, I should say, we since coming to Mindanao, we've, every town we visited is different. It has a different vibe. Uh, Aligan was one of the friendliest yeah. towns I think we've ever visited. Just so many conversations. Yeah. This town, I would say, this is a great place to relax and kind of gather your strength. We spent a fair bit of time visiting the, the local malls and enjoying Good the aircon and great coffee. They also have something called the Boulevard, which is fun place to go for a walk, which we did yesterday along the river. And then we explored the various restaurants and markets around town. So just a very relaxing city, CDO, to be in for us. And the location of this place is really central. You can walk anywhere, everywhere. Yeah, great, yeah. great location. Yeah. Sort of the main yeah. road down to the malls, but also the boulevard is a great yes. kind of transportation corridor, free from cars, and just really, really lovely. So we really kind of gathered our strength in CDO and we're ready to head out. And that's where Camigan Island comes in. It sounds like it's much more of a rural place. Really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. It's a volcano island, so many volcanoes on a little island. Are you, uh, so we'll be taking a taxi to the bus station, a bus to the port, and then a, a, a boat ride to the island, and then some other kind of transportation, not quite sure, to our stay on Camigan Island. Are you ready, Christina? I'm ready. Time to go. Orange and white interior. Quite bright. <laughs> A nice big window at the end of the hallway, so lots of light. Nice view of the street. And a roomy 
elevator. Okay. No playing around in the elevator. Just waiting for a taxi here at the Bedrose Hotel. straight in the bus as usual we go to Balangon port Balangon port I think about a little over an hour away I think it goes fast this bus seems to have good shots not too bouncy <laughs> it has window con, not air con, but still it's nice air. This is where we get off to get the boat to Kamiga. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's our ride to the port. We are loaded up and headed for the port. We're in the port going through various procedures in order to get on the boat, including having our picture taken and get a special barcode. We are aboard the boat, but we're one of the last passengers on board. So all the upper deck seats are taken. So we are below decks. Sort of, we're down to the bottom. Lots of ferries go to Camiga. You can see them tied up here. Jam, very jam.
coming into port. On Kamigan Island. Now we have to get 18 kilometers up the island. Heading into the port. completely forested all around. strolling down to the restaurant ah restaurant there are a number on the main road and we're doing this to the sound of crickets beautiful soundscape here beautiful trees oh, there's the moon it looks like half a moon up there Buns it for dinner. Buns it canton with chicken. We're so hungry. <laughs> and fruit shakes. Two fruit shakes, one pineapple, one mango with no 